friends. Happy, what is today? It's Thursday. I am like on, in Friday mode, that is for sure. I'm getting ready for the Confident Content Experience monthly call. I'm super excited about that. But I wanted to come talk about something that I talked about in my stories the other day because it is a really, really important topic. And I see this happen all of the time. A lot of people tell me that their main goal is to grow their audience, grow their social media brand, and really reach new people. I think that that's always our goal, right? Like we want to continue to... Con we want to continuously be growing. Um, we're going to have different phases where probably at the beginning of the, of our journey, we're really focused on gaining followers and creating that community like feel with our audience. And then we might go into where a, a phase where we are really building the trust with that audience and um, going deeper with the audience we have. And then we might go into another um, a season where we're focused on building our audience again. I think that it's something that should always be some sort of goal, but there's going to be different times when you're pushing more than the other. However, the majority of people that I work with tell me that their main goal is growing their audience. But what I see them doing doesn't help them grow their audience. And I want to talk about this because you might be making this mistake and you might even not, you might not even be aware of what you are doing. Um, but here's the thing is I see a lot of people posting really amazing, great content inside of their Instagram stories, Facebook stories, whatever it may be, mostly on Instagram, but, um, they post the best content that they have inside of their stories. And that's awesome. You should be posting quality content in your stories. People don't want their time wasted. They don't want you babbling on about your entire day that has nothing to do with them. Like we're kind of over that at this point. So the more value you can give in your stories, the more trust you're going to build, the better community you're going to build, so on and so forth. So on and so forth. However, your stories are only reaching the people that are already in your audience. Instagram is not out there pushing your stories to new people. And so what I challenge you to do is go ahead and post that quality content inside your stories, but also post it on your feed. Your feed is what is going to attract new people to you. And don't be afraid of repeating yourself. In fact, like if you are going to learn to be a great marketer, you're going to have to learn to repeat yourself. You're going to have to learn how to get creative with the things that you're saying. In fact, I shared this in my stories last week. I actually have a post that's going to be coming out on it either today or the next day. And now I'm doing a live video on it and I will probably record a podcast on it. Like I don't worry about the, the same people seeing the same things over and over again, because the truth is people see things and they don't, they don't like they'll see things an hour ago and don't even remember what they saw. So for me, I'm not afraid of repeating myself because I know what I have to share is valuable. And if people see it twice, that it's all right. Like nothing bad is going to happen if they don't want to see things a couple times, then they don't have to follow me. They don't have to watch. Like everybody has, you know, free will when it comes to what they consume on social media. Back to the topic. If you really want to grow your audience, you need to be posting new content daily um, in different forms. I'm going to be talking a lot about short form video because short form video is like queen right now. And if you're not doing that, you're really doing a disservice to your brand. Um, however, if you are creating, it's, it's really easy for you to take the content that you're sharing inside of your stories and create a post out of it. You can simply, um, create a long form content post. You can create a carousel post. You can create a short form video. You could freaking download if you're talking on your Instagram stories and it's amazing, you could download that and create a short form video to post. Like you don't even have to reinvent the wheel. You could literally just take what you posted inside of your Instagram stories and post it to your feed. So I'm curious how you are going to take this challenge. How are you going to show up more in your feed and get uncomfortable with people seeing with new people seeing you because you're telling me that's what you want, but then you're doing things that don't align with what you actually want. So I can't wait to see these newsfeed posts where you are creating value and you are connecting with new people. And not only that, but it's going to help your story views increase too. All right. I love you guys. I hope you have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.